For NPR Music, this is Project Song. I'm Bob Boyd. It takes weeks, even years, to write a song. NPR's Project Song challenges musicians to do it in just two days. And every musician that's been part of Project Song worked right up to the last minute. That is, until Moby. He and collaborator Kelly Scar finished their song in a little over a day. In fact, they had so much time left over, they recorded a second version of the song. And after that, they gave a tiny desk concert for the folks in NPR. Here's a preview. Somewhere there's a Sunday in the fall Where everything you love is safe and warm Where everything was right So, how did this song take shape? You're about to find out in this edition of NPR's Project Song. Moby carved out a career making electronic dance music and knocked everyone out in 1999 with a record called Play. His blend of soulful samples and dance beats was captivating, and that album sold more than 10 million copies. Moby generally works alone in his New York apartment, but for Project Song, we asked him to bring along a collaborator. He picked Kelly Scar, a Brooklyn-based singer and songwriter with a gorgeous voice. Kelly Scar is featured on Moby's latest album called Wait For Me. The two of them arrived at NPR late in the morning, ready to get started. I got the feeling they were both nervous but eager. The thought of cheating crossed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> the thought of like having all the like, chords and everything written on my Blackberry. I was like, I'm just checking my message. <laughs> but uh, I like the idea of sort of like just hurling myself into a process that I have very little control over. Do you feel the same way <laughs> or does that scare you? It's a little scary, but <laughs> I'm with the boss. <laughs> I kick off the process by laying down a series of images and words at our makeshift bar. These surreal images were created by New York artist Phil Toledano. One of those pictures will become the inspiration for their song. They're both drawn to an image of a figure in a trench coat in the woods. His head looks like a storm cloud. It has like a a desolate quality and like, like a disconcerting loneliness to it that I really like. Next, I lay down a series of words. Okay, so uh, Moby Flight. Flight and and Sunday. Sunday. What do you think of when you think of Sunday? Growing up in Connecticut, a lot of my Sundays were spent by myself walking in the woods Mm -hmm. in really strange, you know, like just really strange environments. With the word and image chosen, Moby puts them on a nearby chair, picks up his bass guitar, and immediately starts playing a riff in the key of E. Turns out, this hastily played bass line would become the bedrock for their new song. And it wasn't long before Moby asked NPR engineer Um, Neil Tvault to begin recording. Are you recording? Okay, we're rolling. Okay. Okay, that's it for bass. There. I think this there. The song's written. <coughs> So what happens if we're all finished today? Uh, Let's see, you want to host All Things Considered tomorrow? (laughs) (laughs) After listening to his recorded parts in the control room, Moby heads back into the studio for some more recording. Um, Excuse me. Stop. You changed the level of the click track while I was recording. Yeah, that I you can't do that. You sh- you can find the click track on. Yeah, but you can't. What, when I'm whenever something's recording, you can't change any levels. Okay. Got it. Can you start again? The process isn't always smooth, and failure is never far away in a project like this. But the song unfolds quickly once the recording starts. <laughs> Let's 
Maybe I'll put a guitar part in. Once the basic tracks are all recorded, Moby sits down with Kelly Scar to work out the lyrics. Okay. As with any collaboration, compromise isn't always easy. I kept seeing like, you know, like the thin light coming through the trees. I don't know if that's a that's cliched nice. state. Thin, thin light. Thin light's nice. Okay. What I like is the idea of like, so there's a little kid, he's in the woods, mm -hmm. he's encountered this thing that <laughs> is potentially horrifying and mm -hmm. evil. So everywhere else on the planet, people are having dinner and they're watching right. TV and he's stuck in the middle of the woods with this thing. That's offering him a ride in his bowling bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's sort of like he's as far, so that contrast right. between like, like his terrifying experience. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And um, everybody else who's at home safe. Mm -hmm. One, two. Somewhere there's a Sunday in the fall. Somewhere where you're gathering the call that's calling you home. The gathering the call? Calm, like gathering up the calm so that you start again. Somewhere there's a Sunday in the fall. works somewhere. I yeah I like I like the somewhere did you say where everything you where love? everything you love is safe and warm okay I can go really dark and be like thin light um, is long the life I knew is gone do mice have good memories? Mice? Yeah. Because I would think that they don't, and so I was going to say I have a worse memory than, than a mouse. Somewhere there's an intergalactic pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Clouds that's on his head. We walk a while and he tells me. <laughs> Not going to go there. <laughs> yeah, let's go try it out with the actual song. Yeah. Somewhere there's a song. So less than eight hours after choosing a picture and a word, Moby and Kelly have a song, and it's almost finished. We sit down at our makeshift bar for a chat, and I ask Moby to talk about his thought process. This is the weird thing, which is trying to help people who don't make art at all. Try to understand a connection between the thoughts that fly through your mind and something that comes out musical. Is there any, is there any sort of connection? Is it uh, between that made you play that melody. It was two minutes, mm -hmm. honestly, <laughs> and you were laying down a four and a half minute, five minute verse yeah. chorus piece. Uh, Is it in your head? Do you hear I just it before at you the, play it? I was looking at the picture and it just seemed right. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's that, um, was it Rodin? One of the, one of, one, some famous sculptor, they were asked, like, how do you do your sculptures? And he said, well, I just chip away everything that doesn't look like the thing I'm trying mm -hmm. to represent. And so with this, I was like, well, the options are kind of limited because it's dark and atmospheric. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, so the song has to have a quality of darkness to it and has to be atmospheric. And there has to be, like, my favorite type of unsettling art is art that isn't immediately unsettling. You know, like, like a, the classic example is Bobby Darren's Mac the Knife. You know, like if you first hear Mac the Knife, you're like, oh, it's a happy little song. And then you listen to the lyrics, and you're like, this is terrifying. Mm. Um, and it's one of the reasons why I like, like David Lynch so much. Like Twin Peaks, it's darkness, things that are dark and disconcerting that are clothed in, you know, the mundane accoutrements of the everyday. And so to an extent, that's sort of, that, that was what I was, was going through my head.